we have the second to the largest mozzarella cheese plant factory in the United States. It's called La Prino, and it's right over there. It's time to deal with specifics and learn from an expert exactly what an alien looks like. The aliens have the big black eyes, and they actually have a covering over their eyes, and that's for radiation for the other uh, galaxies where they have radiation, so that protects them. Documentation shows they either have four fingers or six fingers. And the six finger um, argument is that that's so they have like two thumbs and so you're, it's easier to hold things. And um, and their big heads is because they have such large brains. Do we know if, if, if the aliens ate cheese? Yep. So it, it's more your soft cheeses, your, your mozzarellas and your, your, your soft ones. Yep. A little bit of Elvis, you and me. A little bit of Elvis, and make the star Hank Williams Jr. Are you a, a believer in, in, in the incident, the Roswell incident? Well, you know, after looking around and everything, yeah. it looks like something happened here. Sure. Kind of like a cover-up yep. thing yep. with the yep. UFO thing, you know. And what I like about the festival, though, um, as opposed to some other things I've been to, is that it doesn't really matter if you believe it or not because it's about fun, having a good time. That's exactly about that. It's, it's more fun. I mean, people coming around, they're just enjoying it. They're dressed up. And I'm going to be performing up here. You're going to get up for a number? They got you up there? Right, yeah. They're going to have me up there. It's supposed to be right here in a few minutes at 7. Do you want me to and, go on with you? And, I could then, play huh? a bit of bass, maybe. Do you want me to come up? Um, it, I don't have to. I don't, I don't know who's actually how they worked it out. Uh, I don't. The band uh, sounds like they're warming up one of my songs now. So Fantastic. I'll Thanks get on your time. over there. And uh, hey, it was nice meeting you. I'm, all right, Thanks thank you. While Hank does a set, Lee explores the Roswell and alien abduction connection further. Don Ray Walton has first-hand experience. A UFO landed in my mom's yard in 1954, and I was born less than a year later. So you are saying you're actually born of alien? All I know is that her husband had thought she cheated on him, and she never did, you know. My mom was gold. She never do nothing like that. She's a good Christian woman. That would essentially make you half alien like like a Vulcan, like like Spock in a way. Yes, yeah, something like that, except for real, yeah. For real. Uh, do you have any genetic features that actually well, make you different from I don't from have any assumes. eardrums, and I can hear you just fine. You have ears, though. Just like radar. Um, you have ears. Yeah, I have ears, but I don't have any eardrums. I went to a doctor one time, and he said, you, sir, are a most unusual person. Did you know that? Well, it was explained to me that when they were in doing the insemination, what happened is one of the other aliens was in like an argument with the other one about it and they kind of got into a fight or something on the spaceship, my mom said. That stuff. Bled something onto the the stuff they were inseminating her with, so I became part them too, I think is what that is where that came Okay, from. so let me get the full picture here. It was You're... an accident, basically. I'm an accident. Now when was the last time you actually had contact with your extended family? Oh, uh, you mean the aliens? Yeah. Some other different aliens came down and they were doing trying to do experiments on me and stuff. I didn't like it. Since I had their devices in my head, I used their devices to control their ship with and stuff. They didn't know how I did that because I have more advanced technology in me. So instead of doing the mean things to me, they became my friend. They offered me a technology. I said, I don't want this. Mankind's not ready for it. He'll destroy the world with it. If an alien craft really did crash in the desert in 1947, why here near Roswell? Roswell has a bunch of interesting aspects of it. It's where Goddard came in the 30s to develop his rocket programs. And so you have this entire space program that started here. Then you have coincidentally Trinity, which is not too far from here where the first atomic bomb blast went off. The atomic bomb was first tested here in 1945. And one has to wonder that whether we once made this leap in technology that beings from other planets started to take notice. Everything that we have in terms of the Man in the Moon program, everything came out of the Goddard Space Program. And then you have the Roswell incident, so it's a wonderful confluence, and I thought it would make an interesting aspect. And then, of course, I'm also here for the Jefferson Starship concert. With no decent tickets to the Jefferson Starship concert, the team head to White Sands Missile Testing Base. Could there be a connection between the wreckage of 47 and this top secret facility? What is stored here today? Lee wants answers from the top level, and he won't leave until he has them. No, no. Um, 
rescue we are outside White Sands Missile Testing Base, a place that's long been associated with the Roswell incident along with Area 51, Los Alamos, etc., the, where the atomic bombs got tested. We can't go in there, we can't take you in there, we can't go further than that. They've shut the gates on us, won't let us in. So we're not allowed in? Well, yeah, probably, I don't got no idea. Why should they let us in? We've got no passes, we didn't call them, didn't tell them we were coming. Um, you know, it's their work. You know, we, we, why should we go in there? You know, they, they wouldn't let you in the back of KFC if you didn't work there. You know, unless you had a pass to go back there with all the cookers and that. You know, it's not your job. How can you go there? Anyway, you, you get an idea of what's going on back there. And from here, I suppose, well, you don't. But you, at least you can see that it's, it's a secure environment here in the desert. The team still have a trump card to play. And what happened to all this, this, this material and the bodies then? Oh, yeah, I was watching for a while. Uh, uh, they put the body things in, in the body bags and uh, disappeared and all this stuff that was, all the shit was lying on the deck. They, they put it in crates and then they took it off into some back rooms. That's all I know of it. I don't know anymore. I, I, shortly after that, I was transferred. Excited by this new information, the team are keen to get back to the crash site to continue their search for any wreckage. And Lee has finally decided to extend the quadrant and broaden the search area. But just minutes into the new search, drama. I trust we just keep the breathing down. Let's get, I know it's time, we'll get him in time, but keep the breathing down is the key. Just deal with it, just keep him calm, okay? Walshie has gone down. We've got a real situation. Um, rattlesnake. No, no. Um, no water. I gave him anti-venom, rattlesnake anti-venom. He's got a problem with the sinuses. Um, I was trying to give him antihistamine for my medical kit, but instead of antihistamine, he's had rattlesnake anti-venom in his system. It's made from venom, so technically he's been bitten by a snake. They will need to get Walshi medical attention as quickly as possible before the anti-venom takes a hold of his nervous system. Okay, go. Frank, can you... Oh. Walshi goes into shock. Mm. You'll feel better. <laughs> you know, this reminds me, um, I have dealt with a few snakes in the past and in Australia once I dealt with an Australian brown snake and they can be very nasty, very, very aggressive, very vicious snakes. Watch it. Australian brown snake. Oh, it's very aggressive. They'll come at you. Very toxic. Poison. Kill a man in minutes. A uh, woman probably seconds. This unorthodox animal show featuring Lee chasing a rare snake in a rental car never made it past the pilot episode. Bingo. There you go. I'm very rare on these Australian brown specs in this region. Are the almost protected species here. And you can tell if... Oh, she's still moving. Got him. situation, but... Is everything okay, mate? Yeah, well, that's quite worked out quite well in the end. Uh, it's all sorted. Um, Dr. Reverence, who's a snake specialist, snake bite specialist, happened to be here. Um, he's only here a couple of weeks of the year, so it's quite lucky for Tom. Um, we've never seen a case like this before where the, the, the venom or anti-venom in this case had been done orally, but he dealt with it, um, put a drip intravenously, got rid of the heart rate and the, the burning of the liver and the, the kidneys and the symptoms that you were experiencing, and he even gave him a it's a nasal spray for his um, block sinuses, so that's been sort of as well. So it's been a pretty good day all around. It's the final day of the conference, and Don Ray explains how his alien DNA allows him to withstand 110 volts of electricity passing through his body. I see when I was taken on board in this rainstorm, one of the aliens had gotten wet, and he touched his control panel, and, and then he shocked himself. So I figured, well, if I plug an electric cord and take the cords off, I know that's a lot of electricity. I'll touch them when they come to get me, and they'll leave me alone. Instead of doing that, they just paralyzed me from the inside with those devices they used. Okay. Lee asks Don Ray for a live demonstration. No problem. Just take a cord off like that. That's a brand new cord. You can examine it yourself. Lee yep. examines the cord. Brand new cord. Yeah. So basically, you're going to plug this in, electrocute yourself. Just, well, I'm not going to elect my kids myself because it has no effect on me. Don Ray splices the cord, giving him two live wires. Okay. I'll keep out of this. All right. Now, see, this is electricity right here. See, nothing. Right through the heart, nothing has no effect on me. And I blow the transformers out in my head. Oh, all right, you can watch this. Okay, watch. I think I'm... Then, drama. 